What up? What up, beautiful people? Today, we're about to be breaking down the best offense in NCAA 25. No blitz is going to be able to stop it. No coverage is going to be able to stop it. Drop a thumbs up on the video right now if you want more mini schemes in NCAA 25. Let's get right into the breakdown. Okay, so we are in USC Trojans playbook. I am in the empty quads halfback, okay? It's a lot of different plays that you could use in this playbook, but this is going to be cover two, cover three, cover four, man coverage, everything with simple adjustments. My audibles is bubble screen, slot pivot, all go bubble verticals, okay? So the play we're going to be coming out in is stick. So if you tap that icon two times, it's going to put a star there. And then you're able to come right here to your favorites and find it super, super fast. Okay, so we're going to go against just a random play. It don't matter. So the first thing you're going to be looking at is how many people is to the outside of your lineman. Number 76. Okay, so you have one cornerback over there and then one linebacker. So with that play. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take R1. I'm going to push right D pad, put him into a zig. So we're going to have a zig and a hitch on the triangle. We're going to be looking to throw it to the square. We're going to go between the slant and the post. So the first thing I'm going to do is see how that left side guy plays the square. Okay, so nobody drops right there. We could throw it right over the top of his head. And if we get blocks down the field, turn that into a big game. We can even turn that into a touchdown with the right wide receiver personnel on the field. Okay, so first thing we're going to do, look off to the left. Now, he has inside shade on my square receiver. So that lets me know two high safeties. That's probably some type of man coverage. So since they have inside shade, I'm going to go ahead and put my triangle on a zig because that's inside shade then i'm gonna corner out my r1 and then i'm gonna post my outside guy so this is how i'm gonna set it up i'm expecting two men under you can even do anything you want you can fade the square over there but i'm looking to hit my o icon or my zig underneath so i'm gonna be looking for triangle then i'm gonna go backside to the o so once we hike the ball two man under he doesn't get open so now we can throw the post down the field and beat two man under okay so always check how many safeties and then make adjustments from there okay so once i come out we have a fade on the left side let's look at that first he's gonna occupy that deep half okay so that's gonna open up the middle of the field then right here we have our zig he played that perfectly he didn't get open so boom we have this route that broke inside, and then this corner route is going to make him turn his hips wide. So he turns his hip wide. We got two inside breaking routes right here that we can hit, and we turned that into a one-play touchdown. Okay? So depending on the look. So right here, we have off coverage. So we're going to go here. I'm going to drag triangle, and then I'm going to hitch my R1. So what am I looking at? I'm looking at it's two high safeties. I'm going to see how they play between the triangle and the hitch. So we're going to hike the ball. If triangle just breaks open, we can see that guy did jump down. So that was like a cover three type look. Always watch the safeties and then make your reads. Okay, so we have that two high look, only one over there. So we're going to go here. We're going to drag R1, come right here, see if we can hit the slant. If not, you can see X is wide open over there. Any kind of match is going to get blown apart because we have four receivers to one side. So now you can see somebody extra on that side. So if you want to, you can put him into a smart out route, about 10 yards, smart route a couple times, put him into a zig. Now you have your zig hitch out route. Okay, so if he's over there playing zone, now you have that out route. And then it opens up the one play touchdown over the top as long as you have enough speed. If you want to expect for man coverage you can see he's over the top of him also you have that fade so if you have the speed you can throw it down the sidelines right there it's a lot you can do with this play he's giving you that one high look again you can go ahead and put him into a comeback uh you can hitch both of these people if you want to double hitches just make sure you pick up the blitz pressure hitch come back boom i mean so many ways to throw dots out of this offensive formation 
first thing you're doing is looking at how many people is over there. So you come in, boom, give yourself time. Now you can pass lead this up in that open spot, get the blocks down the field. So every route on this offensive scheme can be utilized. You could just hike the ball. Now you have underneath. If they drop in the zones way back, you can throw it underneath. You know how the open field ball carrier moves are in this game. Just a simple drag, look underneath, there's the drag, there's him, boom. Now you got blockers, make somebody miss. So you got the deep passes that you can do down the field. You have the underneath passes that you can do down the field. And then if they don't uh, keep the help over the top, you have ways that you can break the defense wide open. So there's that, pass lead that down the field to the inside, one play touchdown, if you have the speed on the outside. So like I said, once they see your route combos a couple times, they're gonna start adjusting. So you can do different things. That fade over there, you could put him into a comeback. You can drag him, drag him. There'll be double drags with a slant and a post, okay? So once you see what the defense is, pass lead that out, boom. Wide open field, it's a lot of opportunity in NCAA 25, if y'all enjoy it, Drop a thumbs up on the video, and I'm cooking up more for y'all. Also, if you like franchise, I am running Madden Franchise. We do have openings in the league right now. I'm currently in the playoffs. If you want to watch me, I stream on Twitch. So make sure that you follow the link in the description. Get the ebooks, become a Patreon member, and follow all the social medias. Appreciate y'all. Let's go.